Hello and welcome to another Amazon Amatron 3 um, video. This step-by-step -step guide uh, is for importing VRA, that's Variable Rate Application Shapefiles, into Amatron 3 with Isobus machines. This guide is valid from Amatron 3 software version 1.06. We'll start by switching the Amatron 3 on with the power button and the Amazon symbol is briefly displayed. So first off we need to uh, import the VRA file. So make sure that's on your USB stick and securely located in the Amazon 3. Then we press the toggle button. Press and hold it for three seconds and the menu overview will be displayed. So you can change these settings in the uh, setup menu on how the toggle button works. And there's a, another video on YouTube about that. But we'll select GPS switch first so press the enter key in this case because it's highlighted already. It brings up the GPS switch menu and you can see there's no job started, field names unspecified and we can't see our machine yet. So first off we'll uh, press F1 field data and the previous field that's been spread is uh, shown here and best practice is to first press F1 to clear the field and start fresh. It will ask you if you want to store the current coverage map. In this case we're going to press no. If you wanted to store it you'd probably have to make a reference point first. But in this case we'll click no. OK, so we've got a clean field now, and you can see in the top left-hand corner it's say unspecified. Now we press F7 to import the shapefile. And it will ask us what type of file we want to import. So we're going to um, scroll down. to application map and we can now press enter or F1 import. Okay, And now we can see a list of fields at the bottom with an approximate distance to them. So I need to select uh, Byford's winter wheat. So I use the keypad to scroll down So I've highlighted the field I want and now I just press enter or F1 load. And on the next page um, we've got the rate calibration and there's a list of the different rates that are found within the map. You might have uh, a couple of different options or different lines but you need to highlight rate cal as this has. So it's highlighted already and I just need to press F4, OK or the Enter key. And now we just select the units that we want to work with. So kilograms per hectare normally with a spreader. So we'll use the keypad to scroll down and highlight kgs per hectare. Now press the Enter key. and it will think about it, depending how big the file is. It will then load up the map. Okay, at this point um, we can, if we want to, change um, the rates. So if I was to press key F2, 
I can change all the different rates by a set amount in percent. So use the keypad and I'm going to change the rate to 113 percent and then press the enter key. And you can see on the left hand side now the rates have changed by 13 percent. So 100 percent is the base rate and I've changed it by 113%. So it's gone up by 13%. If you need to, you can change individual rates. So use the keypad to highlight the rate on the left hand side in the column. So I want to change this rate from 117.52 kilos. Now I need to press F3 and there's the rate 117.52 kilos and I want to change it to 150 so use the keypad to make the changes so I'm going to change it to 150 then press enter and you can see the new rate has been slotted into the column on the left hand side. Okay, we're done here, so I can press escape. Now press uh, F4 to get back again, and F4 again. So we've got our field loaded. Now we need to go to the task manager to start a task. So a prerequisite of using GPS maps is we need a task running. So press the toggle button for three seconds to highlight the ISOBUS or menu overview. Now I need to press the up key to highlight ISOBUS and press enter. Okay, so I've already um, prepped my USB stick for the tasks. There is another video on YouTube about that. And uh, I need to just press F1 to enter the task menu. Okay, first we press F2. And you can see there's no tasks uh, started, completed, or anything yet, so I need to press F2 to create a new task. There's our new task with its time and date stamp. And I need to start that task first by pressing F2. And now the job is started. So using the keypad we need to now tell it to use the or verify that it's using the GPS maps as its set point for the rate. So use the keypad to highlight set points and press enter. And you can see the machine, the Amazon ZATS, and its set point is already set up for GPS maps. And you can see the field name Byford Winter Wheat there automatically. If I press the enter key now, I'm in the task master data. So there might be lots of different rates in here, um, in kilos per hectare. But I should also see this GPS maps, and that's selected, so that's fine. So I press F4 to go back, and F4 again to go back. Back to my open job. Okay, now press the toggle switch. And we've got our uh, machine menu here, so if you press key F1, we're in the machine menu, the work menu, and I can start the disks and turn my border control and whatever else I need to do on ready for spreading. And then press the toggle switch again. 
and I can see on the GPS switch main menu um, it's recognized the machine, the working width and number of sections and we've got a GPS reception now so press escape to flick to the work menu and when we start spreading you can see the target rate uh, in the top right corner of the screen and as we're spreading now the sections are open and this are going the bottom of the screen in the mini view we can see the applied rate as well and you can see their match so it's good all is working thanks for watching bye